Hello again. So today I thought we would tear apart my Talavera pig here and clean it up really good because it's pretty dirty wow. and uh, reset some of these plants because as you can see it is quite overgrown. Um, I put this together I believe in October-ish last year. I went down to San Diego and I got this and a few other Talavera pieces at Planters Paradise in El Cajon. And I love my pig. Let's see if you can get a, <laughs> a better look at it. It's got a little shadows in here, but it, it's cute. And they come in different colors. And I was so excited to get this one because I actually have one. It's quite a bit smaller than this. It's blue. I love the color that I bought up here. And it's a piggy bank. It's not a planter. And it's sitting over in the garden over there. But I paid quite a bit more for the blue smaller piggy bank up here than I did for this big planter down in El Cajon. Because Talavera is very expensive. I believe it's all handmade or hand painted, I should say. It's kind of like terracotta. Most of them, they're made in Mexico. Most of them have um, on the bottom, it'll say Mexico and sometimes a name on it. But, you know, the colors are just beautiful for a garden and they just do so well with cactus and stuff. So <clears throat> without further ado, let's see if we can, this is pretty dry. I haven't watered this in a while. So getting everything out of here is going to be tricky to say the least. So I'm going to use my little tweezers and see if I can't just kind of loosen some of these up. Some I'll reset some I'll probably toss because a couple of them are just not I can hear the roots kind of snapping but um oh, it looks pretty good I don't know can you see that okay is it a little dark maybe I should scoot a little more forward here is that a little better Get up in the light anyway um I can actually go a little farther I'm trying to keep my I'm in the garage right at the edge trying to keep my camera here in the shade a bit because it overheats all the time pretty quickly after like maybe 10 minutes or so so oh there's another little bitty one in here Let's grab this little guy out Ooh, come here dude little tiny one um this tall thing i have another one this was a piece i took off and um it just doesn't look good so i will probably get rid of this now this piece right here, if I can get it out carefully, I don't want to damage it because I do like this. This is, I believe, uh, mint truffles, but I mean, it's got a lot of new growth on it. So I, I'm, I'm going to try and, it's like growing sideways. I'm going to try and uh, reset that. I don't know if I'll put it back in here, but I will definitely use that piece again. This one, oh, I don't know. I don't know about that one. <laughs> We'll have to see. Um, here we got, I would like, if I could get this aloe out of here. I don't want to put too much pressure on the edge of the pot either and crack it or chip it. That would suck and I would be very angry at myself. So I just, whoops. God, these, some of these, you just, you just touch them and they're, you know, they're so fragile. There we go. So this, I think that's a ghost plant, a little ghosty doing really good. I'll reuse that one. You know, I'll clean them all up, get the dead leaves and whatnot off of them. Um, this Kalanchoe, I don't know what I'll do with it. I might cut a couple pieces off to try and reset, but it's, it's not, you know, it's not good. It didn't. So here's a Pearl von Nuremberg. Looks really good. I will clean this little baby up. And I might chop some of these and put them back in just as cuttings. It is getting cooler, so. Ooh, there's another really nice one. Look at that ghost plant. I think those are ghosties. Um, I got back here a little Echeveria. I should be able to pull it. Now that I've pulled a couple out, the soil's a little bit looser. This is really dry. You can hear how crinkly. Um, because, <clears throat> like I said, I haven't watered in a while. 
but you know that's a nice healthy plant it looks good the colors good it's got a lot of new growth down inside and I'm not seeing seeing any mealy bugs down in here on any of these so far um, I think I think I did on this Kalanchoe when it was over I was looking at it in the garden I don't know yesterday or the day before and I think I was like oh mealy bugs here's another little oh what do we got back here I don't know why the camera just shut off all of a sudden I got 80% battery and it can't possibly be overheating yet it's in the shade uh, but what I was saying is <clears throat> like it looks like a little pickle plant down in here that <laughs> I don't know if I can even try and save those little pieces but we'll put them here to the side most of this is just a big chunk of aloe distans and it's got a pup on each side and it did not have those pups when I first put it in I think I need to get this cow ouch these are sharp get this calanchoe out of here it's grown the roots down into the pig's head <laughs> so this you know this isn't looking so good um, I may cut these little heads off and reset it in a small pot and if it you know kind of starts to look like a decent plant again then maybe I'll put it somewhere else so here's the tricky part is getting this this does not want to come out and I don't want to chip my pot so I'm just gonna gently work at this until I get it to I could just cut it off but I don't really want to do that let me see if I can get this thing out of here because I don't really care if I damage this because it doesn't it doesn't even look good and it's you know it's gotten so leggy probably just you know from the old leaves just falling off so it, it doesn't it's not doing anything for me but look at the roots holy cow come on baby the roots are probably all intertwined with this aloe also okay there we go gosh look at those roots that did not want to <laughs> be pulled up but you know it just doesn't look good and when they get to a point where they don't look good if you want to put them somewhere else I mean you don't necessarily have to get rid of them but you don't have to show them off anymore in a you know a pot you want to look nice you can stick them over in a corner somewhere in their own little pot and try to try to get them to look a little bit better getting this out is not easy I, I can just feel these roots going all the way back and forth under here and they are holding on I got a hold of one big one here look at that root <laughs> that's what's hanging on in here there's probably another one on this side going this way and if you follow Laura Eubanks I'm sure a lot of you do yeah I can feel all these roots down in there um, she talks about when you plant an aloe in a pot that you should pull them out occasionally chop the roots and reset them because the roots will take over the pot and uh, I believe everything she says she is my inspiration um, she's got such a great eye for <clears throat> design and staging yeah look at now I broke a lot of the roots off of here because I could hear them snapping but look at that so this is the aloe distans this is one of my favorite plants <clears throat> excuse me so, certainly one of my favorite aloes but it's got these nice two nice pups so I might cut these pups off and reset them somewhere else and then just reset this main plant in here I'm not really sure but I'm gonna set that off to the side <clears throat> and I think what I'm going to do is you know what I'm gonna dump all of this out Oop, another little piece of pickle plant get that out of the way let me get my tray over here and I'm going to dump all of this soil out separate the roots and reuse the soil because it's healthy and I can throw a little fertilizer in there but oh, can you see what I'm doing here I'm making a mess <laughs> that's what I'm doing there we go 
So we'll clean this out. Yeah, these roots are growing right down into the pig's feet. I got, looks like some spider living there. Sorry, little spider. I don't like to damage my little, my little spiders. So let's see if, now I don't see any writing on the bottom of this one, sadly, because I kind of like that, you know, how they do that, but I don't see that this one has a name on it anywhere. But they are made in Mexico, and they're amazing. I love Talavera. I'm going to set this over here for a minute so I don't break it. It does have one big drain hole in it, which I never did put a screen in. But so these are all the roots that I broke off inside there, which is fine. Because <laughs> another thing Laura Eubanks always says is roots are optional when it comes to cactus and succulents. Um, I'm getting to the point now, I used to just cringe if I break or, oh, there's a the little screen that I had in the bottom. We'll save that and reuse it. Um, I would cringe, you know, when I broke off the roots and all of that because I'm like, yeah, I know, everybody says it's okay, trim the roots, cut the roots, reset them as cuttings. Now, I'm like, it's fine <laughs> because I've damaged the roots to plants so often and they just come right back. They just don't care. You know, and another thing, the time of year, you don't want to do this kind of stuff when it's going to be 110 degrees. And it is going to be warm today. It's supposed to be about 92. But um, the front here gets shade pretty early here. So I'm not too concerned. And it's going to be cooling off in the next week. It's going to be down into the into the 80s again. And then the following week, we're actually down 78, 79, 80, right in there for the last week of my... I think it's a 14-day forecast that I have on my phone. I have the Weather Channel. And here in Zone 9B, our weather is mild. And we have had an amazingly cool summer. You know, we only had a few days. I think, God, I can't even, I don't even know how many days over 100. Not, not too many were in the past. You know, we've had a month or two with most days at 100 or over 100. Last year this time, I got a memory on my phone. I was up at Bernie Falls with two of my friends camping. And it was hot up there, but here it was 115 degrees, three days in a row. This time last year in September here in, here in Wilton. Okay, so that's a, that's a pretty good handful of roots. So I'm gonna go get rid of this pile and then I'm going to bring my pig back and clean it up so I'll be right back okay so we're back I didn't want to bore you with all the details so I cleaned it all up wiped it all off made it look all beautiful again nice and shiny and clean and I put the little screen back in and I added the soil back now I did use the same soil so I think this is probably, possibly, the soil maybe that I get at Poots Nursery. It's really gritty. Or it might be that soil over there, which I get from, you want know, to see that? I don't know if you can zoom in on those. But that is cactus mix. Um, I can't see who makes it, but I buy that at a place called The Secret Garden. And I really like it. It's a nice gritty soil mix. Um, has a lot of pumice and whatnot in it. Um, not as gritty as the stuff that I get from Poots, but um, it's kind of a it's kind of a, the middle of the road one. So I'm gonna add a few Osmocote pet pellets in here. I'm gonna mix those down in there. Oh, you know those. Um, just to to refresh it, you know, because the plants do take a lot of the nutrients out of the soil and like I said I think I did this last year so those are the slow release fertilizer pellets and you know I don't what what is the what are they they're uh, I should say 
Okay, this is 15, 9, 12, so I'm not sure. I like the triple 14 for cactus, but I don't have any of those right now. Um, but the Osmocote, you know, you can get different, I don't know what you call it, formulations, I guess. So that's, that's good, and I'm going to take my, sorry about the noise back here. I have a bag, a little bit of poot soil mix back in here in case I need some more. So now I'm going to, ooh, ooh that's heavy. I'm gonna, first I wanna reset this aloe, and, but I'm going to cut these pups off of it first, because I'd, I'm gonna use these somewhere else, and it just doesn't have enough room, so there's not really much to clean off of this one. This was the, the remnants of the bloom stalk that it had that does not want to come out of there. Let me get, here I'm blowing on my plants again. Somebody told me to uh, try one of those, uh, you know, little bulb duster kind of things. Um, I do have one, but it's on, you know, my, my greenhouse is that way towards the back of the property on the other, and I never want to walk all the way out and get it. So I don't. So, but I am going to chop, ooh, I need to sharpen these. I am going to chop these roots off because I don't know why that one doesn't want to cut. Um, because it's too much in here. You know what? I'm going to use my scissors because I think these are, you know, too fine for those heavy trimmers. They don't, just doesn't want to cut them. Cut that. One. This root just doesn't want to cut. There we go. Um, so the ones I damaged, I'll trim those up. Let me check out. Ow, ow, ow. It's very sharp. Make sure that's actually pumice and not mealy bugs. There's a lot of pumice and stuff down in here. Everything looks really good. I mean, this is a really nice, healthy plant. Yeah, that's just all pumice down in there. So, yeah, I think I'll set this one. <clears throat> right back in the middle and then I'll plant up around it so I'm gonna set you right there can you stand up doesn't it look like the alien what movie was that where the aliens walked around on those big tall legs like that but most of the alien was up high I don't remember what it was but there was an alien movie <laughs> all right where is my little scoop I don't know but I have a big scoop. No, you know what? I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get my little scoop. Okay, well, I don't know where my scoop is. I have no clue what I did with it. So, I will just have to do it the old fashioned way, a handful at a time. So this is a uh, soil mix from Poots and it's very gritty. And I can tell by looking at this, that what was in there before is a little different. Still nice and gritty but not because the, the soil mix from Poots. See, this is why I wanted my scoop. So it won't make quite so much of a mess. But that's okay. I was one of those kids that was always dirty. Um, I don't know if my mom even bothered trying to keep me clean because me and my friends, we were big into horses and we would gallop around on our hands and knees at recess. And so, you know, I was always ruining my clothes and, <laughs> and I haven't really changed much. So, well, this isn't quite centered. It's a little bit, I think forward and it's a little bit to that side, but that's okay. That's okay. I think I will set this little calico. Is this calicoe? What is this? Cotyledon. I think this is a cotyledon. I think it's a mint truffle. So I'm just going to kind of get some of this old dirt. Take a look. It Actually, I don't see any. I do see the wings. There's a wing. Can you see that from a, looks like a small dragonfly that was down in there. Yeah, this looks good. Nice and healthy. Where do we want to put it? I think we want to put it. So which way did the pig go? This is the side that shows. So I think I'm going to put it right back in here. And it can kind of grow up tall. Get down in there, root. Get in there. 
and that will have a little more room. I when I first planted this up, I planted it, you know, pretty uh pretty densely. But I don't I don't know if I'm gonna plant it that heavily this time. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just see how it looks as we go. Okay, so that's get a little bit higher. A little bit higher. Shake that dirt down around in there. I probably won't put any top dressing on there. These out of the way. So these little ghosties. Oops. Um, check them out real closely. I do not see any mealy bugs on here, which is a good thing, as we all know. So I think I'm just gonna, do I wanna reset it? They're, everything's really fat and plump. I think I can just go ahead and reset these in cuttings, you know, as cuttings and just not, you know, then I don't have to water them for a while. But they, I mean, they always look, they always look better when you set it in as a cutting than when you're trying to cram the roots in there with it. And there's a bunch of them. There's my little pearl. So this one, where's my brush? Okay, so this one's got some spiders living in there. That's cool. I don't mind the spiders. I do not see any evidence of mealybug. Just spiders. Okay, so I'm going to cut this one down here. Oops, should have used my nippers. Kind of crushed it a little bit, but that's okay. It'll be okay. You know what? These are kind of a different color. This one's more purple. I wonder if it was just getting a little bit more sun. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't like that there. Uh, maybe over here. Uh, maybe closer to the edge and give it a little support there like that. How's That looks better, huh? Get in there. Okay. I didn't put any top dressing on it the first time because um, there was just no room because I planted so much stuff in it. So this does have mealybugs. Look at that. Can you see that there? I know we're in the... We're in the shade or the shade here, but yeah, you can see some mealybugs down there. So I'm gonna, I'm going to spray where over here, because it's gonna drip everywhere. So I'm gonna spray this one. So I just doused it, and I'm gonna put this one off to the side and find another place for it until it heals up. I don't want to put it in here. So this little Echeveria of some sort, I don't know what this is. It's a little hybrid. Um, this looks good. I don't see any mealybugs in here. A lot of dirt down in there. But th this one, it's, it's tricky because of the color of the plant. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Get it back in the sun. The color of the plant is, uh, you know, it's kind of deceptive. But sometimes if you just clean up underneath here and there's mealybugs, you'll find them right around the stem. So, oh, my mail's here. Hello. I have the best mail people. They're super nice. Yeah, so I do see some little mealies down around that stem. So we're going to spray this one as well. And there go my dogs to tell my mail person that this is their property and not hers. Oops. Okay, so this one's... Nicely treated. I shook it off a little bit. I meant to move it and sprayed it right over the top and made a mess. But that's okay. That's okay. Okay, so this little clump of stuff. So this little thing, I think... You know what? I'm going to hold on to these ones. I'm going to reuse them. They're nice and healthy. Um, these typically do get infested with mealybugs everywhere else I have them. So they might have some. I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to put that back in there. I'm not going to put that back in there. So I'm going to go and find a couple more plants. You know what? Hey, here's what. I have this whole box of cuttings. I don't know if you can, can you see down there? These are the ones I took out of my fountain the other day. I've been treating them. They've been resting here in the shade. So let's find a place to set this box. How about right here, where of course I set everything. 
and don't stick yourself with this sharp scissors. Okay, so let's pull a few things out of here. So I've got this nice big plant, and you know, the, the mealy bugs should all be dead on here, the ones that had them, and these are all nicely calloused off. So why don't we, why don't we come over here and, whoa. How many times do I have to do that before I realize that I shouldn't do that? Okay, we'll stick that down in there. All it needs to do is really touch the soil. I thought I had a nice pearl in here, but now I'm not seeing one. So here, this is another one. Looks good. What was that in there? Is that a feather? I think there's a feather in this one. So speaking of feathers, last night, you know, my cats have been bringing in dragonflies every single night. The great big ones. We get these big metallic green blue ones. And um, yeah, that's a nice one. We'll stick this. You know what? The stem's too short on that one. Um, these beautiful big metallic blue green dragonflies. And then they let them go, you know. So, of course, now they're flying all around in the house. That's an ugly leaf. We'll take that one off, too. And um, last night, I was sitting in there. And sure enough, my cats brought in a couple of dragonflies. You know, I catch them as they bring them in. And I get them back out, throw them back out. You, you have to be really careful trying to catch them because, of course, they're freaking out flying around like like crazy things how about this little cute little one put that in there and um i you know so i'd gotten all of those out and uh <laughs> i think that one might have made a hole these are so sharp this aloe is like a thick super rigid it's not soft like an aloe vera and Apparently, it's angry about its life here. So, oh, you know what? I did have, so I did have another one of these. This is, I had one of these in before, in here, the before, the purple one that looks, you know, this one doesn't look as bad, right? It looks a little better. This one was in the shade over here, but it was very infested with mealybugs. I did treat it. Um, way up here where you can't really see so I mean it kind of looks oh that hurt my finger that last one was was ow 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 um anyway so I catch the dragonflies I get rid of them I'm sitting there I'm watching a movie and I hear this loud noise and I just see something out of the side of my eye and it was big and I'm like oh that didn't sound like a dragonfly was that a bat did you just bring in a bat because I've had that happen before we get a lot of bats out here and I love bats. Bats are just super cool. Um, no, it wasn't a bat. It was a bird. And it looked like, you know, I think I want to treat this a few more times before I plant that back up somewhere. It's still a little bit yucky looking. Um, it, uh, it was a bird and it was probably, I don't know, I think it was a sparrow. I didn't catch it because it was flying around the house like crazy freaking out and so let's do this let's stick this one in there um it ended up going down the hallway into the bedroom my husband was in bed asleep and he's like he f would freak out if something was you know especially if it was a bat flying around in there um but he did wake up because i went in there turned the light on i saw it fly through the bedroom door so i shut the bedroom door I shut the bathroom door and it flew into the closet, of course. And we have a big sliding glass door in the bedroom. So I opened that and uh, I went in the closet and it, you know, it was kind of a tan color. It looked like a barn sparrow, which we have tons of here, but it, uh, it didn't have the colors of a barn sparrow, right? And, um, you know, it was calm. It was up in the top of the closet, which is really high. We have a pretty tall walk-in closet. And it um, it flew back out, though, and it went out the window. So that was good. 
I'm just, these cats are just making me crazy every single night. Dragonfly, dragonfly, dragonfly. More dragonflies. Ooh, this is a, I believe this is an Agavoides. See how you look around your roots. You look, oh, this is the one that really didn't have any roots, huh? It was like, I mean, it didn't have a stem. It's got some roots, but it doesn't really have a stem. This is a nice plant. Can I fit this in here? How about if we, let's see if we can do this without stabbing myself again, like an idiot. How about if we just kind of move you back and just sit you right there on the surface? And you can tip that direction. And you can come this way a little bit more. There. How's that? You know what? You know what? Let's add some more soil so that you're a little bit higher. How's that? That's better, huh? I'm just setting it really right on top of the soil. Same with this this little guy, but those roots will grow down into there. They will, they will. Um, so the bird got out. Crisis was averted. And uh, Cat didn't even care. He was just laying in the kitchen on the floor like, you know, what? What's your problem? I mean, he acts like he's such a great provider. And I should be happy that he keeps bringing wild animals in the house and letting them go. But I'm not. I'm not at all. Cats are silly. Silly, silly creatures. But, you know, we gotta love them. And they do. They have started getting after some mice. I don't know if you can see this on here, but... Okay, so my camera did overheat, so I just went ahead and finished it up. Um, what I was going to show you before I was so rudely cut off was the, 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 this little plant, and I don't know what I did with it. I misplaced it. But I was going to show you right at the top, under where the leaves are, at the base of the stem, it was already starting to grow a few little roots. Um, so that was kind of cute. And I was going to tuck it in here, and I set it somewhere and can't find it. I think I actually put it in that box with all my other cuttings. So I'm all finished, and I'm just going to leave it like this. You know, it's it's really cute. looks good. Plenty of plants in there. This is the side you're going to see, and I'll show it to you once I set it over there. And you'll see how it looks. And now this these guys will have some, some room to grow a little bit and um, some uh, fresh fertilizer down in there. And I'll probably give them a water in about I don't know a few days I'll water them because there are a couple cuttings in there so we'll be right back okay so this is where it hangs out and it looks really good there I think and it's used to being in this spot so the Sun shouldn't be an issue it is pretty warm today but it's gonna really start cooling off so I think it'll be okay and this section is you can see the shade is already creeping down the side of the house so it's still fairly early you know it's not even noon yet and about by about 1 30 this will be in the shade before it gets too hot so but yeah I think it looks good I didn't put any top dressing on um, there's not a lot of room for it but now they'll have some room to stretch out a little bit and they'll look good I need to do that plant so this just turned off on me again because it said my battery was low, but it shows I have 28%, so I don't know why it did that. But all I had left to say was uh, thanks for watching, and if you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing, and I'll see you next time.